Well, breaking news this morning before you go, a busy morning for Omaha fire crews. They were called to 19th and Nicholas just after 530 this morning. So far, no injuries to report. Details are still pretty limited right now, but we'll make sure to let you know as soon as we know. More breaking news this morning. One person is dead after a crash in Lincoln last night. Lincoln police say a pickup left the road, went into a ditch, then up and over a levee before rolling into a creek. 31 year old Lincoln man was pronounced dead at the scene. Well, more breaking news this morning. Palestinian officials say an Israeli airstrike on a crowded tent camp housing Palestinians has killed at least 19 people and injured 60 more. Earlier reports had as many as 40 dead. Israel says it targeted significant Hamas militants. Those allegations were denied by the militant group. First alert to some spotty showers out there this morning and bringing some clouds with them as well. So this is what we'll be dealing with today on and off light rain. Uh, very, very spotty and sparse, and it's going to be very light if you get some. Temperatures in the 60s right now, so those are noticeably warmer out the door. Something else to pay attention to again today. We had the south wind gusts yesterday. We're going to have those again today, gusting up near 30, and some of these showers have actually been kicking out a little wind as well. So watch for that. A first alert to that this morning. We'll get the rising sun. I think that'll help kind of chip away at some of these showers. With chances, though, all the way through the afternoon, we'll go to about 90 for the afternoon high today. Uh, and that looks to be well above average, about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Cerise? Rusty, thank you. More top stories before you go. It's a busy week ahead for the Nebraska Supreme Court. Justices heard arguments over whether an abortion rights ballot question violates the state constitution. A decision could come at any time. And today, the court will hear a challenge on a ballot initiative, which looks to repeal a law providing state funding for private school scholarships. A petition centering around medical marijuana is very close to being certified. The Secretary of State's office tells us the campaign run by Nebraskans for medical marijuana could be certified today or tomorrow. This is the third time organizers have fought to bring medical marijuana to Nebraska voters. And it's a project two years in the making today. The Jocelyn Art Museum is reopening its doors after an expansion. And this is not the first time that they have done so. The museum originally opened in 1931 and after a three million dollar donation came in from Sarah Jocelyn. According to the museum, over 25,000 people visited on that day with the new addition. Over 5,000 years of art and creativity will be on display for everyone to see. The museum will have its official reopening for the public today at one o'clock. It is free if you want to come by and visit and they will be open until eight o'clock. Maria, thank you. Multiple agencies are on the lookout for a 16 year old girl. Azaria Saunders went missing from Scribner City Community Schools last Thursday. Anybody with information is encouraged to call the Hoopner Police Department.